what I'm trying to do right now is I'm editing my karaoke video and I recorded it all on blue screen. What I'm trying to do is edit the lighting effects on my video to match the lighting and the backgrounds that I'm putting in. And to do that, what it does is it actually edits the lighting of the whole image. So like your blue screen turns brighter or darker too. And therefore it messes up your green screen. That'll really piss you off. So the workaround solution I found to this is to edit the whole video like you would normally with the blue screen in the background. And then go ahead and you want to key everything out using the ultra key like I showed in my other how-to video, how to use the blue screen. Go ahead and key everything out. Then you should just have your video with the black background. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to export it so the black, all the black is transparent. So when you make a new project and you bring that just one video clip in, you can add your backgrounds then and change the lighting effect on only the video. But what we're going to do is once, say I have everything keyed out right now, I'm going to go to File, Export, Media. The format we're going to use is QuickTime. You go ahead and name it by hitting that. Um, we're going to make sure, because so you don't lose any quality, make sure it matches your document size which is mine is 1920 by 1280 want to choose video codec none and when you choose video codec none what that does is that's what allows for the transparency to come through and that's all you have to do just just in case check your output right here once you get that exported clip which is just all one clip you make a new project in premiere you import that video solid video clip in and you just put that on its own track make another track underneath it and put your backgrounds and then add your lighting effect to the clips and go ahead and just divide up the clip as you want to change the lighting in your backgrounds and there you go but let me warn you though the uh, export file size is going to be freaking huge at least it was for me using the 1920 by 1280 for like 30 seconds was like 17 gigs if you guys have any other like easier way please let me know because I'm doing a lot of editing right now and I mean I can just imagine four minutes worth is probably going to be like 50 to 75 gigs or more so please let me know down in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hope I helped you out. Till next time. Peace.